Chris. Hey, Gordy, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, if I call you the bug man. Yeah, go ahead, that's fine. Well, I've got this Carmen Mountain Whitetail that I shot last year, and I wanted to see if your bugs could do a number on him, but I'm really interested in this whole bug process, and I was wondering if you could just walk me through the whole sure, thing. Sure, I'd be happy to. All right, let's you take bet, a let's come on in. I got a spot to put your head here. Okay. And where are the bugs? The bugs, I, this is one of my containers right here. Okay. And I've got a, a bear head that's just getting eaten up by the bugs. Wow. That is really that's gross. It's been in there for about a week to 10 days. And how long does the whole process take? Um, anywhere from um, four to eight months. Okay. You know, sometimes they go a lot quicker and sometimes they take a little longer. Depends on the uh, temperature and how much they have to, to eat. And where do you get your bugs? Where do these things come from? Well, I originally got my first colony from uh, a professor in uh, Michigan. They are naturally occurring, so they're around here. Okay. And if you go to a dead carrion or you know a, a, a dead animal, you would probably find some dermestid beetles. And what is their life cycle like? Now these reproduce here, right? Yep. That's that's probably an adult female. It's pretty big. Oh, yeah, I've seen those before. Yep. And it took about four months for it to get to be that big. Okay. So what this does is they, they mate with the, the male and then they lay their eggs around that bear skull and then within four to five days those eggs hatch. And they actually go through several different stages of, of um, shedding their skin. Oh, wow. See there's different size ones. It, they go through seven, seven different molting phases. When they're really little they can get up into those little cracks and crevices of the skull and eat all the meat. Okay. And oh, wow. they, they don't eat the bone. They'll eat cartilage, uh, meat, connective tissue. They don't like to eat organs like eyes, so I, I always remove the eyes. Okay. Um, they won't eat the skin. Okay. You know, usually you get the flies that, you know, lay their eggs and then they, okay. you know, they'll eat up all the, the liquidy stuff. And then these guys, they actually like it when it's really dry, like almost mummified. Okay. They don't like it uh, super moist. So uh, I, a lot of times when I get a skull, I'll get it all cleaned up and then I'll let it sit out for four or five days and actually dry okay. out. So how many of these bugs does it take to strip a deer skull? Um, well, you can see in here that uh, there was quite a few on this guy uh, and they just keep uh, multiplying. And these are kind of cotton balls down in here and they like to um, lay their eggs okay. around those cotton balls and they kind of like to hide in there. Now this guy is, uh, since he's alone in the box, he'll probably be done within two months. You know, we just had some really warm weather and the bugs exploded. They actually like 90 degrees. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, so that's why I got a light bulb right. here. It keeps it warmer. And in the winter time, I heat this with the wood stove and uh, I like to try and keep it 70 degrees in here with the wood stove and then with the light bulbs, maybe it kicks it up to 80 to 90 degrees in my bug box. But you're obviously this is a slow time of year now mm -hmm. as we get into fall and you start getting some heads I see mm -hmm. you've got a lot of room to expand right. here. Yep. Yeah I got I got like seven to ten other bo boxes like this that I would be okay. using. Yeah and I've got a, another big box here where I've, I'll put some uh, you know sh Scottish Highlanders in, moose, elk. And where do the bugs come from? Do you use these and they reproduce or do you have to get more bugs then? Yeah, so what I would do is um, like, you know, like your head, when we put your head in here, yep. I would leave it sit in here for about a week. Okay. And then, um, uh, and then after a week I would take that, your, your head out and I would bring it and I'd put it in here okay. because it would have plenty of bugs on it to get this box going. And they'll, and they'll reproduce too. Yes, if you give them the right situation, they'll really reproduce fast. Well, I'm looking forward to getting that deer head back and see what it looks like. And yeah. thanks for the walk through this. I've always been very fascinated about these little bugs and it just confirms the fact that, yeah, they are creepy. Well, thanks. <laughs> yep, I'll, I'll give you a call when it's done. Okay, thanks, Chris. Yep, you bet, bye-bye. You know, a lot of people always ask me, what's your favorite broadhead or what broadhead should I use? The answer is simple, it's the one you have the most confidence in. I always say that because if you have confidence in a broadhead, chances are it's going to get the job done or it has in the past and will in the future. However, if you don't have a confidence broadhead yet, the new Sever 
is worth checking out. Look at this bad boy. Titanium, rear deployed. Look how compact it is. Chisel point, I love a chisel point in any broadhead, but when those blades come out, it rips a hole. I shot a deer last year in Nebraska with the prototypes for these, and I could not believe the hole it put in the deer. It actually stretches the hide to get a stretch cut, which is enormous. And there was no problems following the blood trail. Wow. Stretched out. Stretched out. Oh. Some other unique features here. You can put a set screw in here, locks the blades in place. You can then use it as a practice head. You don't have to guess whether the practice heads are the same as the broadhead. You can use the same broadhead Make sure that it stays sharp with the titanium. You really don't have to worry about that. And away you go. Uh, easy components, you can replace the blades. And there's your tools, an Allen key and uh, a blade wrench. It's that simple. Yeah, 2.1 inch cut, titanium, sever. If you haven't checked them out, severbroadheads.com.